Yes, yeah, so I left Coffee Radio in 99. Mm. Um, so I did Radio Z like a year and a half, about 18 months or mm. 17 months. Um, mm. The owner of Radio Z, Caterpillar, MC Caterpillar, mm. was an artist. He worked with Radio Zurich in Switzerland. Okay. And then his father was an aeronautic engineer and mm. came and set up the radio station. Right. So I was successful mm. yeah. in convincing them that I can do radio mm -hmm. because I've done some radio yeah. in Accra and I use Vibe FM yeah. as a reference. So they allowed me. But technically, yes. Yes. And um, he said, I listened to. Well, wherever I go, I tell them, I give, I provide solutions. Mm. So I said, I don't like your lioness. They didn't even know what is called lioness. Mm. I said, I don't like your lioness, your station image, yeah. your IDs. Your, yeah. Yeah. They said, oh, okay. So what can you do for us? I said, I can do jingles for you. Yeah, wow. then, then the man took me to a studio. Mm -hmm. And he said, do you know how to play the keyboard? I said, yes, but I didn't know how to play the keyboard. <laughs> yes. So he said, okay. Then he turned on the PC yeah. and the equipment. Just as I was about to strike the, the, the keys, yeah. I saw a heavy power outage. Then the, mm. the, 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 the thing went like, boom. Then he came back. I said, what's that? He said, we have low currency. I said, I said oh, then I can't can play. Then this. we can't play. Mm. And then um, <laughs> I knew how to play this AB Krenzel song. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which is our father yeah. who was in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. So when I did that, the guy was like, "Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's okay." He said, "Then go to the studio, go to the booth, yeah. and do some jingles." So me, I've always prepared. Yeah. yeah. I've always prepared that when any opportunity you comes, it. I'll grab it. So I went into the booth and I said. When you're feeling down, all you have to do is to turn your dial on Z. 101, 105.1, Radio Z. The guy said, yes, you're, you're good. good. You're, you're good. good. On Charlie, point. Thank we you. need this guy. And I said, boss, let me do one house for the Zongo people. He said, hey. Oh, you speak house? I said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I said, yo, <laughs> one Uche now, one Uche now. Jamal, Radio Z, 105.1, by Yawa, Munangua. Go, 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 go. Ah, this guy is yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, Charlie, yeah. we need this guy. Yeah. The other man said, look, that day. Yeah. The guy put me in his vehicle. We drove to Linda Door. Linda Door was the biggest yeah. restaurant in Kofredia. And he gave me one club. Um, no, um, Goda. 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 Yeah. Goda too was a beer oh, for the yeah. that time. Yeah. Street boy. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. didn't yeah. have money to buy Goda, Goda for no. Goda. Yeah. The man said, what will you drink? I said, I want Goda. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he gave me these. 50 cities. Today, like 50 pesos. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So quickly. I told him that but I have to go back to Accra, you know. I'm I'm not I'm coming busy. for a job. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I told you that I just love, you know, I work for UNICEF. I'm on small it's vacation. That's why I'm here. So I have to go back to Accra. So oh Charlie, anytime you come to Kofodia, you Charlie, please yeah. come on. Say like, bah. Then I came to Accra. Okay. I came to Adabraka yeah. and started recording jingles, collecting mm -hmm. songs, music mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. So um Mr. Wilson Atta had a music, the Sky FM man. Mm, mm. Yeah, he started with Talafata. Yeah. They had a music shop here at Adabraka. It later became Marco Kekumante's shop. Oh, Slip? Okay. Slip Music. Okay. Yeah, Slip Music was originally for Mr. Wasenata, mm. the owner of Sky, Sky FM. So, me, I know the evolution of... Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's not surprising yeah. Yeah. that you are who you are in radio today. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, at what point did you move to Kumasi? Where I met you? Okay, so, mm. one day, the late Nana Koko Sohine, our former boss, Nana Kwa yeah, Mapuku, yeah. he came to Accra. Um, and on his way to Kumase, he tuned into a radio station, I think around Bunsu or okay. mm -hmm. and was listening. I said, ah, this guy is so energetic, his yeah. voice is very yeah. vibrant. Yeah. Confidence was there. So they, I announced our telephone line and he took the telephone oh, number. Wow. But when he got to Kumasi, he called and the technician on duty paid. I said, uh, Abrante. We are in a branch of being a program, and then you the power. And I said, Ah, your friend Abi Kufi Comfort. I said, Ah, and then when you got power, Jimmy number for Mano. And I got Chen, he said, I am on frame. No, Kumasi, me, 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 Utun Foba. I said, Okay. So it's the technician who gave me the call. I didn't have mobile phone. Yeah. Uh, so he gave me the number that, oh, a man called yeah. that he was listening to you, and he said, Kumasi, he wants you to call him. Oh, then I called him. When I called him, he said, uh, "Why are you?" I said, <laughs> you, should, "You should hear the nice speech." I said, "Pacho, your friend me a bit come. Kasafrikofodia. Adiasam. 
I'm a radio presenter. na am a radio presenter. I'm a radio presenter. I'm a radio presenter. I'm a radio presenter. I'm a radio presenter. i a i a i i i i i i i i i i i so I came to, that was my second time coming to Kumase, right. my lifetime. So I did even all Kumase, the part of Kumase that I knew was tech. Mm. Because I came to tech and I dropped out from school. So oh, okay. I didn't know Kumase proper. Right. So when the bus, the Kofodia bus mm -hmm. brought mm -hmm. me, when we got to Kumase, mm -hmm. I got down. Then I asked for vehicle to Abrepo Janshin. Yes. Mm. Then they took me to Abrepo Janshin. When I got there, I asked of Nana. I said, so I'm from Kofodia. He want me to come. Then I went to see him. Then he said, Ah, would you? So we are killing Kurasa. We got to put in ten ten ten. Me, I call up. Ah, mom said, Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to an American. You want to go? You want to come? I had a minister. I'm calling you. I'm going to. I'm going to. We're here. Come on, sir. We're going to be here. Come on, sir. I said, oh, no, no. I'll do it. I don't need money. Yeah. So I accepted the offer. I was taking today 12 cities, mm. which is 120 yeah. in Kofredia. Yeah, yeah. And Anasi <laughs> will give me um, 30 cities, which is mm -hmm. uh, 300, which yeah. is today 30 yeah. cities. Yeah. And I accepted it. Yeah. It's more than 150%. Yeah. So I took it. So okay, but he didn't give me accommodation. Mm -hmm. So me too. When I came on air the first day, so I resigned. I went back to Kufuri. I resigned. Okay. Then came to Kumasi. I didn't have accommodation. I just had one bag. Mm. Okay. The day I came on air, I announced on air that I'm a new guy in Kumasi. I don't have a place of abode. I don't have accommodation. I was speaking broken airway. I was speaking broken house. Mm -hmm. I was speaking <laughs> equi I was speaking cheap. And Kumasi, I know. Had it was new to them. Not exactly. Talented, exactly. multilingual yeah. presenter. They were hailing me like. So that same day, somebody offered Kumasi people. They are very nice. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Somebody yeah. offered me his hotel. This is white orange hotel at Kwada Sun Sum, mm. behind Prempe College. I stayed there for eight months. Wow. Then me too. When I got accommodation, I called my guys in Kofodia, uh, Kwame Apia Kubi. Um, uh, Kwame Nasamani, Bushman. Bushman. Oh, yes, I, I worked with Bushman in Kofredia. <laughs> really? Then I called a commencer that, hey, Charlie, we man, I can't get job for Kumasi. So they all came and lived with me in that one room in the mm. hotel. Mm. And the hotel, too, people were doing short time and they didn't like the way we were talking, talking, yeah. and people didn't like it. So they sacked us. Ouch. So when they sacked me, I went to uh, Afun Kwanta, mm. another hotel, to stay there for like one week. Then mm. later I moved from Afun Kwanta, then I went to Esu Ebua. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Stay there for like the snake flat. Mm -hmm. I did. A, I get a uh, guest house. Stay there for like about two weeks before I decide to rent um, a, a house or a room for myself. Yeah. A lady took my money at Crow Room and absconded. <laughs> so, like, I'd come to Zero. Welcome to Kumasi. So, I used to hang around <laughs> some pubs at um, uh, uh, Suntreso, okay, Oko, South, South. South Bra Oko. Yeah. I was sleeping there, mm -hmm. you know, I was sleeping at the pubs. In the, but I was still working on the radio. Me, I was cool. Oh, no, 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 no. You people didn't know. <laughs> Nobody knew. That's why in the evening you find me on the street of Bantama. Mm. Mm. I'll sit there, High get, yeah, 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 get my Nemo. I'll be at yeah, Nemo yeah, Sport yeah, yeah. or S Bar, get my drink. Mm. Oh, and, so. those, and those days I used to smoke and I get my mm. fag, you know, yeah. I was there and I chill. Then I'll play my snooker. So, me, I was on the street. Ah. I was on the street, mm. but I was still working, like mm. nothing has happened. But yeah. I was so passionate. Yeah. I love the yeah. job. I love the job. I remember 99, um, by the grace of God, we interviewed candidate Jay Kufo. Yes. Mm. And same 1999, we interviewed Daddy Lumba, and that was the, yeah. big, the, yeah. the, the yeah. biggest yeah. interview Daddy yeah. Lumba has ever had yeah. in his life yeah. in Ghana yeah. was yeah. us. Exactly. Because yeah. we faked a Daddy Lumba's voice. Mm. We used Anoche Supremo, the late. Ah, the late. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, no, so, Anoche Supremo, why are Tinisa? Oh, Anoche Supremo, we know him way back in Kumasi. Yeah. So one day we decided. You know, I don't think what Yes. Now, Reverend. Apostle yeah. Bishop, yeah. he's a strategist. Yeah. I know him in 1998 
when he Bajon. was... Yes, I know him when I was in Kofredia. Before you met him in Kofredia. He, he <laughs> was the founder of Ecstasy Promotions. Oh, okay. oh wow. He, we did Reggie Rockstone, Azigiza, KKD, mm. and what, in 1998 in Kofredia. So I know John, I don't think okay. what yeah. And he knew me. But when we met at Radio Mercury, he said, hey, don't let them know that you know me. Uh, that one, me, yeah. I can't talk. Yeah. Like a strategy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know that I'm a street boy. Yes, and we are all Accra people yeah. and we are in Kumasi. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, so, that's all. <laughs> so, we fake that the mm -hmm. voice. Mm -hmm. See, Kumasi people were yearning to see Daddy. Yeah. You can't see Daddy Lumba. Exactly. Well, but Daddy Lumba was anything. like a, a demigod. Yeah. yeah. Even today. Yeah. So you can't see him. Daddy Lumba had never played any show, concert in Kumasi. Yeah. So we decided that we'll play Daddy Lumba's songs for three days and tell I mean, people that we are going to interview Daddy Lumba. So we play Daddy Lumba song day one from morning to evening. No song, only Daddy Lumba. <laughs> and you know how Kumasi people yeah. love Daddy Lumba. Yeah. Day two, then day three, we made Anochi Anochi Supremo, Supremo call our line. Then so me and Shark, Big Shark, Big Shark, yeah, God bless May his soul rest in peace. Yeah. yeah, you know I was at this funeral. Charlie. Yeah, so I'm not just Supreme Court. Hello, hello. That, that is new. Then John says, cut it, cut it, cut it. Then cut it. Then, then, then those days we're not using even telephone hybrid. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. putting the microphone on the phone. Yeah. 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 So we say, oh, I was for Yashri Dandelumba. I was Germany. I was Twaso. And we continue. People started coming to the studio. Hey, yeah, the then the following day, Daddy Lumba's late stepfather and late mother, Amesa, they came to the station. I think what's your name? I'm rough. I'm wearing a sari. Me and my papa be at casa. What's on the station? Be at casa here. I think you're wrong. I'm be silly. I said, Madam, I'm not sure. The owner of the station was the late Otunfo Pukwari's first son. So you have come to Menchia. Yeah. Yes. Sort of. Be careful. Yeah. Can you see Menchia? Yeah. Can you see Menchia? Madam, you're steady. We rather want Daddy Lumba. So the mother then now arranged for Daddy Lumba. Then now we have to announce and publicize that Daddy Lumba is coming. Strategy not far. God! <laughs> this interview was reported on BBC yeah. by Akosa Sapon, yeah. the then correspondent of BBC in Kumase in 1999. Mm. Look, from Swami Runabout to Sofulai Runabout mm. and Bantama High Street were flooded. Yeah. Police had to use water cannons to disperse, to disperse the people. No, you know, you know, Abeku, super staff. you are, you know, <laughs> even if we are given one week, <laughs> yeah. we can't finish we got, with your uh, conversation. Exactly, yeah. You know, so, so, because I want us to get to other areas, yeah. you know, but come on yeah. here then. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, from Radio Mercury, you so moved to... Radio Mercury, yeah. I moved to Ash uh, FM. Mm. Oh, yeah. In Kumasi, yes. and Loga Janshin. Yes. Yeah. Uh, big bro. Yeah, big bro. Big bro. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you you came to yeah, Tema. So from, yeah, so from mm. Ash FM, yeah. I actually um, resigned from Ash FM. Then I went to Europe. Okay. But before coming to Europe, I had gotten an offer mm. to come and work with multimedia. Yeah. Right. But I didn't want to come straight mm. to multimedia. Mm. So um, <laughs> this thing, I, you let me talk to you, sir. <laughs> So I came and I saw Kwesi Chum. Mm -hmm. They gave me, in fact, Kwesi Chum came to Kumasi, okay. met me at Royal Basin Hotel mm. at Tech, yeah. where we sat. Me, I was like, I was just playing, playing. Mm -hmm. When I met Kwesi Chum, I was smoking my cigarette. Mm. And I had my Guinness mm. and I was talking. <laughs> of course. But this is the CEO of Multimedia, Multimedia. Joy yeah. FM, Love FM. How can you do that? I told the man that me, this man, I like, yeah, you. Because look, I've lived on the streets. So I was playing to yeah. him. Then he said, he has a radio station in Tema. Mm. And he want to build a radio station to compete Peace FM. Yeah. Right. And he has heard a lot about me. I was actually recommended to Kwesi Chum by Samson Ado, the chief engineer. Then Samson Ado mentioned me to Kokstamaklo. Oh, yeah. okay. Then Kokstamaklo, you know, proposed to Kwesi mm. Chum that they should bring. So Kwesi Chum came, mm. but Cox came first. Okay. And I said... So who is the boss? Say my boss. I said, bring the boss. Bring I want to deal with the boss. Yeah. Then the boss came. Mm -hmm. Then me too, I've heard a lot about Kwesi yeah. because as an industry person, yeah. you know the yeah. owners of okay. the radio station. Yeah. So I put my cars before the table. He accepted, gave me the offer and gave me the money. So that when I got the money, I absconded to Europe. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> but why you like this? When I took the money, I went to Europe. <laughs> Look, Master Adi, I won't go see abroad. So yeah. I went to Switzerland. The Switzerland to it be it be connection. Yeah. I came to the Swiss embassy yeah. opposite um, Accra High School, right? Okay. And there too, um, I presented Echo Shiloh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and um, Abib Records. In fact, mm -hmm. it was yeah. Abib Records. Um, it's a little bit of a Abib, Abib, yeah, the, the, the one, yeah. the, the producer yeah. of Booba, yes, yeah. Echo yes, Shiloh. Yes, yeah, yes. he took me to the embassy. But because I'm very vocal, yeah. I told them that we are artists, we are going to record. <laughs> And then, then, then I oh, went, wow. I got a um, letter from yeah. Alaji Sidi Kubari, yeah. you know, yeah. music guy, we are artists. So we vibed. Even at the embassy, you know, it was very small embassy. Mm -hmm. We started singing. <laughs> and then the consular was, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 but the way we address, <laughs> they weren't too sure that this guy is a, <laughs> so they gave us two weeks visa. Okay. But yeah. the visa, they gave us blue visa on paper, A4 mm. sheet. They mm. didn't put it in our passport. Oh, wow. Mm. Seriously. And when we got the visa, and they are giving us two weeks, one week passed and we're still we done. We didn't have money. <laughs> Tickets can't we didn't have money. money. <laughs> 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 so I chased Ajikot. Okay. okay. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he gave me some money and we hustled. Ah, then we got money. Then we bought ticket. We went to Switzerland. Yeah. When I saw him, I said, hey, I'm hey, okay. Hey. I'm not coming to Ghana again. Oh, you can see Oh, So I stayed in Europe for yeah. almost a year. I moved mm. from Switzerland to Holland, Holland to Germany, mm. Germany. Then later I said, no, let me come back. Yeah. Yeah. So when I came back, you know, I went to Terma. That's where I met Jimmy Quist mm -hmm. yeah. as the librarian. Jimmy yeah. was then at Joy FM yeah. as a uh, producer, librarian, and they brought him to Adam, Adam. as, Jimmy. as Jimmy. Uh, producer <laughs> and librarian. Work with him. Then, now I'm in Accra. Mm. But people didn't know that I was in Accra before going to yeah, Kofi. Yeah. So yeah. they thought some new yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, so the big names, I mean, Gabi Ajete yeah, on Joy, yeah. Miki Osebeko on Radio Gold, Gold. Yeah. then Fifi Bansen mm -hmm. on Peace. Peace, uh, Peace yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, then Bolare on Top Radio. Yeah. He was doing Afternoon Jam, but we were the drive time. Yeah. Post. Okay. So I say, <laughs> <Of course. laughs> Now, I prayed for three months. I'm, I'm, I'm a prayer person. Mm -hmm. Where well, you are prayerful as you are today then? From, from birth. Yeah. You right. know, it's a natural thing that right. God gave me. I mean, in spite of all the things, I was so inclined to the things of mm. God. So I prayed and I listened to radio for three months. I was in Accra, but I wasn't working. Yeah. So I actually started from Joy FM before even I started on Adum FM. Adum. Mm. Okay. I co-hosted Sunday afternoon special mm. with Sami B, Kwame Bampu. Okay. But you know, Kwame Bampu was the host of the drive time when I came. Mm -hmm. mm. Then they move him to mid morning, yeah. then I took over yeah. the drive. So every Sunday, we're doing the Omutu special. I took Kwame. Sami B got the big brother. Mm. You know, you know, he was the first big brother. Um, yes, uh, yes, rep. Rep, yeah. yes, yes. So when he left, I took over. Now, when I took over, I was doing the very uncharacteristic thing yeah. to Joy FM. Yeah. <laughs> Francis Doku will write about me. Joy FM, your, your, your credibility, your image, who is this? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I know Francis Doku since 1998. <laughs> Francis Doku came to Kofuria to write about me. I have I was published in graphic mm -hmm. showbiz in 1998. And then oh. it was positive. It was positive. But I've come on Joy FM you and you say that I I'm not like a local this day. 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 But I'm not talking about who does local, but yeah. it was yeah. me too. I'm doing local entertainment, you people don't understand it. <laughs> I was saying things and he said, ah, mm. like, excuse yeah. me, we'll be a time and all that kind of thing like that. <laughs> That's not Joy FM. No. That's not Joy FM. What is this? Yeah. That's not Joy FM. <laughs> so how long did you stay at Adom? Adom, nine years. Mm. Wow. Yeah, nine years. Because From it, it 2002. Was, it, was, it was such a shocker, you know, yeah. when you left Adom to, yeah. especially to, um, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Despite because, me. Yeah, yeah. Despite, despite me. Yeah, yeah. Because we they were my like, competitors. Exactly. I didn't like them. You know? I didn't like them. So, so why did you go to? <laughs> and that's why I never joined Peace FM. Because okay, in, so my heart, in my heart, in my heart, they are competitors. Still on the piece of but, but oh no, I'm competing them. I tell mm, them I compete yeah. them. Yeah. So you you've been very successful mm. in media by the grace, yeah. of, by the grace God. of God, absolutely. Mm. And then you decided to take on entrepreneurship, mm. and you really now moved into, into tourism, tourism. Mm. You know, and hospitality. Mm. Share that story with us too. Yeah. When I was at Adum FM as the events and promotion, we first 
um, took the MV to the princess vessel mm. from Volta River yeah. Authority uh -huh. to Volta Hotel. Okay. okay. So before the MV to the princess came to Volta Hotel, mm. it was an equity of VRA under the care of Volta Lake Transport, right. which is also a subsidiary of VRA. Mm. So it was used for passengers, yeah. you know, Ferry ferry, yeah. but yeah. not for entertainment. Yeah, no. So the late Jacob Chebilamte yeah. and his uh, deputy, uh, his special aide, uh, the guy who died, Ferdinand, Ferdinand. Ferdinand. yeah, Ferdinand. So they, 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 he actually, I um, mean, lobbied for the vessel mm. to be given to the hotel. Mm. Now, the general manager of Vuta Hotel was then lawyer Seth Asante. Mm -hmm. mm. So he approached me. In fact, he called me for a meeting with Jake on the boat one afternoon mm -hmm. that we want to do something and they say you are good you can do this so i was handed over the mv do the princess mm -hmm. and entertainment facility manager of Volta hotel from 2006 to 2009. Wow. oh wow i refurbished the entire adwa nightclub mm -hmm. Ket C virtual sounds in Asylum. Mm. I bought all the equipment mm. did the whole club refurbished sound everything and i was running uh, promotion. Yeah. So no, I, I did, remember Dodi yeah. from you. I took um, yes. Chrissy P to do the princess, yeah. and that's why he oh, has okay. a song. Yanko Ako Sumbo do the yeah. prince. Uh, yeah, I was running. I was running a lot of events. Wow. Mm. Um, Rana, yeah. Kojo mm. Sobo, Emi. Yes, yes, he was, yes. you know, he was a musician. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 So I, I, Kojo I, I, and Kobe Rana was uh, my yeah. in yes. school. Yeah. yeah. So, so I took them to yeah. do the princess. Look, yeah. I played every show. Flamenco, fly away. Ah, is that where they shot their video? Yeah, yeah. There was some. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I did a lot of events. Man of the year, was. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the the year was. <laughs> and I was also festivals event mm. organizer. Mm. So in Kusukum festival at Sopon, okay. Quail. So that is where this whole Quail thing came exactly. from. Yeah. Now the Quail festival. Yeah. Big shout out to um, Mr. Uh, NS Sampo, known mm. as NS Chemist, mm. and Mr. Yeah. Kwame Fusu. Uh, 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 um, uh, um, Seekings. Seekings. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Then yeah. Midwest, ah, so the mm. okay, okay, so mm. in 2009, yeah. they approached us that they have, in fact, it was 2008, that Kweo people, they celebrate Easter. Yeah. But they don't have any big event. They normally play Daddy Lumba, Kojuenchi, Nana to Four, yeah. Easter mm. Sunday mm. at Ohine Nana Classic. But individuals, they do their own parties mm. in their respective houses at home. If we can organize something, mm. so of a kwabna kwachi at yeah, Omae yeah. FM, yeah. Kiki, Mr. <laughs> Miyama is sharing family, Kina Farmer. Yeah, yeah, he was our general manager at Adom. Okay, okay. I, I I know him also from Love FM. Yes, in he was transferred from yeah. Love to Adom. Yeah, then Daddy Bosco. Okay, oh. then myself. Okay, Ahuma. Oh. okay so. Um, we're friends to NS Chemist, so mm. they said, they said, yeah, I mean, could you have the artist? Yeah. So let's do something. So we started Oinana Classic, and that is the Kwe Uwe Kwe. By 2010, wow. I brought Nana Boro. Nana Boro yeah. lived Euros. just behind my house, <laughs> okay. you know, at Committee 18. Mm. Yeah. So I brought yeah. him yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I was doing events, so I've managed Club Felisa in Tema. Mm. Committee 7. I've, yes, I've managed, uh, me, uh, me, what's the name of the club at Sakumono? Fridays. Fridays. Yes, I've done yeah. all this. So, no, no, so, so the tourism <laughs> and entertainment staff, right. yeah. you know, mm. the experience on Akosombo and Vido the mm. Princess yeah. for about three years. Yeah. What do you think has made you stayed relevant? It's the grace of God and I think um, the passion. Mm. Passion is an unquenchable flame. Yeah. You know, um, I've had the highs and lows, the ups mm. and downs, yeah. you know, difficult times and moments. But my passion for this arts, mm. media, entertainment is so intense. I don't know mm. anything that can take it away from Because I've had offers, I've had job opportunities, and I, I don't see myself quitting radio mm. anytime soon. 